Hello friends, this is JB from JB's Mountain Cave and today we will be walking towards the east on the southern main road to Montrose a area within Shogonas if you haven't seen it, I did a Shogonas proper video where we were walking in the opposite direction heading west on Shogonas main road into Shogonas proper where the shopping is, the market and so forth if you haven't seen it, you can always check it after this video, you could watch it first. All those videos are located on JB's Man Cave YouTube channel and you can view them all. I've covered most areas within the country. Now please excuse if you hear a lot of background noise, it would be nice to have um, a soundproof room but sound is something very hard to control external sound that is so you may hear a dog bark you may hear my boys running around or making noise in the background excuse me for that that's a bit unpreventable in this video you also hear the natural songs as I walk on the sidewalk pavement you'll hear people talking the vehicles the engines and so forth Now as we pass that river pass, which is the highway going from North Trinidad to South, we are now in Montrose. You'll see um, the map sometime within the video, now and again, and you will see the grey outline which shows you the area of Montrose in Shogunas. Just like Shogunas proper, uh, Montrose is pretty busy. This is a Saturday afternoon. So, some of the shops closed early, but some of them are also closed because of the pandemic or even permanently closed as they, and they went out of business because of the pandemic. But if you haven't been to Montrose in a while, this will give you a good idea of what it's like now in March 2022 if you never came to Trinidad and you're just interested in the Caribbean this is what island life looks like in that this is a busy business area of a locality within Trinidad which is an island in the Caribbean it's in the southernmost part of the Caribbean and Trinidad does not focus as much on tourism as the other islands like maybe Barbados, St. Lucia and others would. So these areas are not necessarily meant for tourists. They're just people living, having their business and so forth. In other words, you won't see beaches and coconut trees and the typical things that they show you in these brochures as being part of the Caribbean. Actually, this is um, a good example of what most of the countries like. You know, lots of built up areas, lots of traffic, lots of cars and so forth. Now this is this part of um, of Shogunas Montrose, like Shogunas proper itself, allows you to get a lot of services and products that you can't get elsewhere. Now, many times I've come to Montrose for that very purpose to shop and get stuff. The only thing I don't like about shopping here in Montrose itself um, is to two things in particular one first of all is the traffic you can see here it's a Saturday afternoon but this is actually light traffic for the southern main road in Montrose I mean normally it's worse than this and uh, 
the parking that's the next thing it's really hard to get a parks because some of these businesses yes they do have parking for their customers but their customers are already using a park so if you come you, you, you can't find a park and that makes it tough because you want to stop and purchase something or get a service done or whatever it is but you just can't find a place to park and it's not like you can leave and look because in order to leave and look you would need to enter this traffic now as I have said in many other videos about the central area the traffic system is a bit strange for me a lot of one ways a lot of turns and what in my opinion uh, is a lot of extra driving to reach from point A to point B uh, and and because of that I think it, it's a bit of a turn off for people who don't live within the area who may want to come in the area to shop that's something for local government or the Ministry of Works or whomever takes care of roads and infrastructure they really need to see about that Besides that, this is a great area for service, for products. The people are very friendly, very helpful. It just needs to be um, have enough infrastructure adequate for people to actually come and, and you know purchase stuff and get over whatever service they need for their vehicle themselves, whatever have you. almost like that vehicle didn't want to stop for me to pass by in case you don't know these sightseeing videos is not what JB Man Cave is totally about I mean yes I have many of them but I do make videos on lots of other stuff lots of other countries um, issues crime trivia I mean there's a lot of other stuff on JB's Man Cave maybe you just came here because you're just curious about you know somewhere that you lived or you want to see what it looks like now but uh, if you truly want to take in what JB's man cave is about it's more than just hey let's look around so I invite you to actually look at the main page of my youtube channel that will give you a lot of videos on various things related to society, problems, crime even videos on how well you know Trini culture and Trini history this is a fruit and vegetable stall all the good stuff I like to eat being a vegan I don't eat meat or any animal products so I devour a lot of vegetables, fruits, peas, beans and I'm very healthy for it but people, whereas people around me get sick they feel aches and pains, I feel good I keep running, I keep going and at the same time I'm saving animals lives too One thing that, you know, normally I make videos where I'm driving and I put the camera on a wide view so you could pick up both, both sides of the uh, road, left and right. But of course walking has the advantage, although it's a bit slow, you know, I can pan and turn the, the camera so you could get a good view of each street and that's what I'm doing here as I walk, you know, I'm trying to pick up all the side streets and the businesses are wrong especially if you maybe had a business here before or lived in the area and because I'm using an extension rod I'm able to give angles that you just can't get from a vehicle 
and I know some of you just love this new um, I don't want to call it a fad or a phase but aerial shots are nice drones are nice but you know a drone cannot pick up what you're seeing here and it's nice to get an idea of what the area looks like but looking from above you just cannot get the gist of the ground level view the roots level view of an area at the same time you don't want to be totally at eyesight level meaning you know the normal height of a person because then you can't pick up other stuff and that's why I have the best of the both worlds by using an extension and a lens that can go 360 I can give you various heights and, and levels of what the area looks like and the stabilizer on this extension rod is really good helps you to focus more on the background and the stuff around than you know jittering or shaking and if you like what I do you can always become a patron you can always feel free to donate just go to jbsmancave.com or jbo.com and hit the donation link make sure to read what you are doing in making a donation donations are just because you like to support what I'm doing you like the work of what I'm doing it's not to influence me to go to any particular angle be it a particular area a political view or so forth it's just because you like what I'm doing and you want to support it and for that I'm grateful One thing I love about so many places in this area uh, and Felicity too for that matter the level of technical ability of the mechanics electricians and so forth they really know what they're doing I actually leave north to come in central to get you know anything service on my truck and so forth and they charge reasonable as well you know they're not I don't know where I, you know, up north I find everything is about the big dollar sign rather than concentrating on doing a good job. So I tend to come down here to get my truck service and get a few other things, even buying groceries or whatever. Now if you're hearing a, a rooster in the background, it's really annoying for me. For some reason, my neighbors decided that they would have chickens as pets and I'm not joking I mean they don't thank goodness they don't choose to eat them but I don't know about having a rooster as a pet I mean that that was just such an annoying noise for me to hear that rooster going off just any time especially when I'm recording and I'm not uh, focusing on just roosters, huh? dogs too. They hear a dog barking constantly for no reason. I mean, if there's somebody at the gate or somebody jumping over the wall, yes, you can bark. But when you have a dog just yapping constantly, barking at every little thing that passes by, that has a level of distress. And when you're recording a video like this, even more so. Now you see that covering on that pavement that we just went over, that is a hazard 
and it does not reflect just Montrose, it reflects most of the country. This goes along the lines with infrastructure. You could see all the weeds on the, on the pavement, the road, and each covering we pass, you notice it's different. Some have concrete, some have metal, some are broken, some are uneven, some are not even there at all. So, you know, if you're a blind person, you have some sort of challenge or you're even on a wheelchair you could you could not pass here you would not be able to pass on this sidewalk pavement to get from point A to point B and probably you know you may say oh well you know probably the country doesn't have money or this is just a third world country or a banana republic let me tell you this country makes a lot of money. The management of it is questionable. How it is spent is questionable, but I, I don't think money is the issue. There's just a drive, a cultural drive to get things done and get it done properly. That has always bothered me about things in Trinidad and Tobago. And no, I will not be pointing fingers at any particular party or person. I am not about that, especially here on JB's Man Cave. But for me, yeah, after year it's more or less the same, no matter who is in power. I think we can do better. By the way, some of you may ask repetitive questions like why do I blur some places or some people? I mean, you can check the description. Sometimes I will answer these questions in the description. Because some people will ask the same question over and over. But just to answer you quick here now, I blur videos because sometimes I want to protect the person, especially if it's a child. I don't want to show their face. It's actually quite convenient for me right now that everybody more or less wears their masks because of the pandemic. That's sort of a, like a blur automatically for me. I don't have to worry about people being the center of the video. Now, based on my understanding of the laws with regards to photography, videography, locally you can basically take pictures of anything in public you know as long as you're not making you know X person the center of your your video or your your um, picture uh, you know you would need to ask for their permission but in a public setting like this where I'm just moving and I'm really taking a general picture of everything that's all good However, I like to keep children out, so if I happen to get a picture of a child on their face, that I, I, I rather remove that. Sometimes people are in some awkward position too, and I also blur that. So we're standing here. This is a T junction, and that where we're facing now, that, that sort of ends the southern main road. Southern main road turns left in this case and goes back north. Whereas where we are facing now, that's the Caparo Valley Brasso Road. And that would take us into Longtonville. Which I have been to before I've passed through there. If you haven't seen those videos, I don't know if I lab labeled it Longdonville. Maybe it's just that I passed through there on my way to Palmas or some other place. But um, I have been in those areas before. So if you're looking for video on those areas, you can always check it out. Like I said, JB's Man Cave has many videos on various parts of Trinidad. People often say, well, why don't you... Why don't you record this or why don't you go to this place and many times I've already been there you know you just use within YouTube there is a search 
now you have to be careful which search you use you, you're not searching the whole of YouTube you just want to search my channel and if you search my channel that's in the next search option below the original YouTube search bar if you use that to search my channel you'll find all, a list of all the videos or you could go to the playlist of my driving videos if you really can't find it just put in the comments you would like to see such and such area and I will link the video to it for you or if I haven't really been there because some of you may list some very specific areas you want me to visit if I haven't been there yet well then I would say so but for me I use my PC for all interaction with videos social media and so forth I just I don't know if you're like me but I just do not like using phones I just don't get the air the the idea of why I should use a small screen and my finger I, I like a lot of accuracy I like a lot of power and using digital media and phones generally don't have that no matter how good they are so we're going uh, on the southern main road now and uh, we are going to make a loop at some point we'll turn left onto John Street that's where that yellow car just came out of here on the left that's a doubles vendor they sell a snack food made of baro which is flour and chana which is chickpeas in a curry and it can taste quite good but for me I um, I don't really eat a lot of outside food and if I do I'm very particular about where I eat things like that everybody locally tends to have their person that they go to for things like doubles if you have a particular person that you think is really good they're hygienic their flavors are uh, where they flavor or season their food is good and that they are consistent feel free to tell me in the comments area about them so we just passed that um, part of the pavement that was literally a hole had no covering that's what I was talking about now years ago all these areas could have been just a lot of grassland huh? or not much going on but as time passes by a lot of main roads tend to become congested with buildings concrete and as I have said in many other videos, if you looked at this, would you know it's a Caribbean island? You wouldn't know where this is. We have demolished all our natural flora and fauna, all our trees, and just replaced it with concrete and asphalt and a lot of poles, electrical poles, electricity poles and wires running here and there and it's nothing beautiful I wish we could do more to keep trees and flowering plants and stuff around you know people may do it for their individual houses but I mean to just generally beautify the place we could have more of that and that's of the concrete by the way another thing that um, some people I realize are confused about when you see that subscribe button or you hear me to ask for you to subscribe I'm not asking you for money you know subscriptions are free you just have to click the button and if it asks you to log in is because it wants you to log in with your gmail account so in order to subscribe you must have a gmail account it's free just the subscription just lets you keep in touch with JB that's me JB there and lets you know about new videos now I release videos every day 
sometimes twice or three times a day every day so really you can check me every day but just so you know the moment I release a video you can uh, subscribe and you'll get that prompt from YouTube or the YouTube app if you use your phone but really if you want a full max experience with some of these sightseeing trips the really the best way is to go home turn on your big screen if you have a big screen TV or your computer monitor and watch from there because you really can't get the gist of this from a phone trust what I'm saying try it if you haven't the screen of a phone is just too small you'll get little bits here and there but you won't get the full detail of these trips this is John Street to the travel we are walking down this is a, more or less a residential area you will not get a lot of shops here although there are like for instance we just passed a bar there and that's something that's I don't know I guess it depends from area to area but people in Trinidad are allowed to have bars in residential areas and for some of you abroad that may seem strange for me that is right living right here it's strange I just don't understand the need to have a bar next to residential houses but that's just how it is in Caribbean life island life what do you think? do you have a bar located where you live? I mean like a few houses away or right there in your residential area how do you feel about it? Are you okay with that? you think they're just trying to make money or do you think these places should be more in commercial places on main roads and so forth tell me what you think in my youtube channel so we're heading back to the southern main road in Montrose and we are going to be turning right heading west Now the sun is in front of us, a little bit to the top of your screen and when the light shines uh, towards the camera it tends to make a lot of shades and darken the colors so it's a bit different to how it is when, compared to when we were going east, you know why now By the way, doing this for me is fun because it allows me to get my exercise a lot of time I'm cooped up at home and don't get a chance to get out enough, especially with the pandemic and this allows me to go out and get a good few miles of walking in because that's what we have done here by walking on the southern main road in Montrose and making this loop I'm sure I've covered maybe uh, two or three miles at least now sometimes if you see me um, 
GoPro loaded camera like that is to show you just how these sidewalks are, how even again if you had a wheelchair or you had some challenge going up and down this is, would be a nightmare then of course you have people that park on the pavement too which doesn't help but just imagine you had a wheelchair and you had this obstacle I mean you just wouldn't be able to do it It's just not made with people of all challenges in mind. And it's even unsafe for anybody who does not have a challenge because they're often broken up or whatever. And a lot of times it's because people are given different little jobs to fix here and there, but there isn't a standard like something to follow that says every time you walk on a, a pavement a sidewalk it needs to be done this way not just a patch here a little bit there a fix here no you can only use these materials you have to use this to these specifications and so forth standards i think are very important and clearly missing with regards to infrastructure and very hard to reverse to get people to do it too because now you have to go through years of people just putting up whatever buildings or doing whatever stuff around and to uproot it and fix it and do it over properly is going to cost a lot of money and manpower we're gonna pan a bit it's probably an excuse for me to take a little rest That's east. East and back west. This guy in front of us was talking a lot. He seemed to be rather happy. So if we pass by him and he had many camera, well, he was pretty much doing all the talking by himself some of you have asked me what a trainee woman like, what a trainee man like, and so forth. And um, <laughs> that is, to me, a question that, that you know you really can't answer as saying trainees are this or that. And if I went to the US or UK and I said, what are, what are people from the UK like or the US like? You know, it really depends on who you meet. In general, in general, uh, I would say trainees are more or less friendly. Um, they're willing to accommodate you to an extent. Trainees love to talk, talk about anything, even if they not, don't necessarily know what they're talking about. Huh? I mean, for instance, they would get into something like, let's say the war in Ukraine right now in Russia, but they would just speak about it loosely and probably most of it is based on something they saw on the news rather than do their research about you know what the Ukraine is about why Russia is even attacking it and I'm saying this in general huh? of course there are trainees who are very studious academic will do their research and stuff but in general most trainees just you know talk loosely about things and that's anything even problems in the country crime or whatever they will speak, speak loosely about it all the time in a rum shop talk manner and what I mean by that is that 
we have something here called rum shop talk which means you know the kind of talk you'll hear when you go to drink with your pals or whatever well trainees like to talk like that make you know make humor and jokes about basically anything and that's how Caribbean life is, island life. But at sometimes, sometimes for me it can be distressing because sometimes serious issues need seriousness. Not everything is a a joke or whatever. So just like any place or any group of people, you have your good persons, your not so good persons, your friendly, your not so friendly, and so forth. However, I do plan to make a video about men and women in Trinidad. I'm sure you would like to see that. But I also made a video some time ago, if you haven't seen it, about faithfulness in relationships with regards to men and women. It's a topic that is on the minds of people here, but sometimes it's taboo to talk about it. Nobody likes to be, as they call it here, horned. Which means somebody was, who is your partner, your spouse, whatever, was unfaithful. And I bet you didn't know I have videos like that on JB's Man Cave. But I do. Like I said, you know, JB's Man Cave is not just about sightseeing. So make sure to check out all these videos. I would love to see your comments in them. So we're continuing on Montrose, heading back to Shogunas proper. Panning again, showing you the progress we've made. That's east. And that's west. And somebody made a, a comment on one of my videos you know sometimes you get so used to something that you don't realize it but in addition to for instance how bad the pavements are here pavements are sidewalks by the way depending where you're from there are no street markings so you don't see the dashes or the line on the roads or if they are there they are really faded Funny enough, this particular pavement sidewalk has a white marking on it and the road itself doesn't. Yeah, we should. And that's an infrastructural problem again. You know what's really good about um, this area? In, in Montrose as well, there's a lot of um, places to learn you know, you know, academics, your books from school, whatever you need, extra help, tutoring, etc. A lot of places also, some I believe after school courses. Some of you who may have done accounting and stuff in the past will probably remember that. And lots of stuff for vehicles. Now the temperature here, it's a pretty cool day, it's sunny. I was actually in the beginning of this video, if you notice in the background, there was a, a big thick grey sky, I don't know if you noticed it, I was worried that this would end up being one of those videos where it was, everything was just grey and gloomy, but it turned out to be pretty good. And um, I like to drink a lot of water and that helps me to stay cool, so for me it was relatively cool, although there wasn't any breeze. For other people, they may have been feeling really hot. And if you eat a lot of um, flour, milk, meat, those things heat up your body and can make you perspire. 
I don't eat any of that stuff and drink a lot of water so I remain cool allows me to keep going That's the highway, the overpass. Those vehicles are heading further into central or south. This road will take you to the Hardman Sings, which is a hardware for up other places within Montrose and we are continuing here on the southern main road heading west People get curious or excited when they see this camera extension. This lady was just asking me if I was going to the capital, which I'm not. This is where you, a lot of people would have spent their days waiting for a taxi or the bus or maxi. There seems to be some kind of religious, I don't know what to call it, excitement. Every time I come to Shukona, there's always people passing out little booklets, talking about religion and so forth. What's going on with that? I don't see that much in Port of Spain, but every time I come to Shukona, there are people handing out things. Talking about religions, shouting. If you know what that's about, feel free to comment in my YouTube channel. Going to this, this is actually all part of Montreal's on the left, according to the map. Um, the center mall also falls within that boundary, as well as Marcy. The other side is Shivonis proper. Anyhow, we are going to head here and then on to Ramsaran Street. 
I'm heading back to Price Club, which is one of my favorite places to come and shop, get all the stuff we need. And that's not an ad, I'm not, not in any way affiliated with Price Club. But I do find the service good and uh, when we had leaflets or anything to do with autism and various things and helping special needs persons, they were always very accommodating so we have never forgotten that. That Massey stores, in case you don't know, is what used to be known as Hilo. They changed the name a few years back. In order to, I don't know if it's the correct word is monopolize a lot of the services and products. They now handle vehicles, mechanic jobs, towing, food, pharmacy and I think at one point real estate although that closed down I believe and I can't remember so folks I hope that you enjoyed this walkthrough Montrose and Shogunas Make sure to subscribe, like I said, it's free. Donate if you want to, you're under no obligation. But I don't refuse help either. That's Mid Center Mall. This place on the right, they sell lights and various other things. So it's like a haberdashery. But the building's shape and look is very unique to me. It reminds me of Morecambe, a place called Morecambe in England that is on a seafront it, ha it has a lot of buildings that look like that at least when I was there it always reminds me of that so I'm gonna walk a little bit forward here on to the left so you can see a bit into where that center mall and then turn around so you can get a bit of Ramsaran Street and I hope you enjoyed it you can keep on watching but JB here is out with his commentary thanks for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.